So the Philippines and Thailand have huge pageantry sort of worlds and histories, but I would say Colombia is not too far behind, right? Aww. There's a huge pageantry sort of love in Colombia, isn't there? Yeah, um, thank you for your question. So I'd love to answer in Spanish because it's my first language. And yes. So uh, I want to be very clear. So. Very good. En Colombia somos grandes fans de los reinados también, amamos mis Universo, somos muy apasionados por cada cosa que hacemos. Y bueno, al igual que los tailandeses y que los filipinos, amamos esto, nos desvivimos por esto y seguimos a cada una y apoyamos mucho a nuestras reinas. So how does it feel for you to be representing your country, you know, in, in, you know, in this universe where there's such a love for pageantry? Este es mi sueño de toda la vida. Siempre soñé con este momento. Desde muy pequeña, cuando mi mamá y yo nos levantábamos cada día, veíamos y pensábamos, soñábamos con este momento de que yo estuviera algún día representando mi país y participar en mis universos. Es un gran sueño hecho realidad de estar aquí. Sabes que para mí estar aquí no fue para nada fácil, yo tuve que intentarlo más de una vez y gracias a esa segunda oportunidad que me dio la vida, pude participar nuevamente, pude convertirme en Miss Colombia y ser embajadora de mi país y poder estar aquí en Miss Universo no fue para nada fácil, tuve que crecer mucho como persona, eh, me enriquecí en todo ese tiempo que pasé y, y me llené de mi país, recorriendo cada rinconcito de Colombia pude entender cuál era mi verdadera misión aquí en Miss Universo. To be on this big stage, I mean, I think all of you are so amazing. You just have such grace and such poise. Are there nerves in there? Are you nervous about this week? Are you excited, nervous? Because you all project such confidence and such grace. And how do you feel? Bueno, más que nervios, estoy muy emocionada por este momento. Como les estaba diciendo, he soñado con esto toda mi vida y estoy ansiosa por ya estar ahí en la preliminar y en la noche final cumpliendo este gran sueño. Y bueno, más que eso, yo pienso que no debes sentir nervios cuando estás siendo tú, cuando eres auténtica, cuando te sientes bien con lo que tú eres y eso es lo que quieres mostrarle a los demás. Nunca vas a sentir nervios cuando estás siendo tú. Dios, estoy muy emocionada por ese momento, no puedo esperar por esa noche final. Creo que he soñado con esto durante mucho tiempo. Cada día que me levanto le pido mucho a Dios por ese momento que me dé luz, que me haga brillar y que nos haga brillar a todas las candidatas que estamos aquí con este mismo sueño, porque de verdad que, que es una gran felicidad, no solamente para nosotros, sino que también le llevamos felicidad a nuestros países. For many young girls, I mean, you're a role model, and for many young girls, this is a dream. Is this your dream to be here in this moment? Es mi sueño, mi primer sueño desde muy pequeña que he estado aquí. He luchado muchísimo. He sido una mujer valiente, perseverante. Nunca me he rendido a pesar de las adversidades. Voy saltando cada obstáculo que se me presenta en el camino para ser más fuerte, porque yo sé que desde este rol estoy inspirando a muchas mujeres alrededor del mundo. Y yo creo que, que ese es el verdadero rol de una Miss Universo. No solamente ser la representación de la mujer más bella del mundo, sino ir más allá. Ser una líder que impacte en la vida de las personas. Quiero mostrarle y quiero inspirar a todas las niñas con mi historia que somos nosotros sin dejar un legado en nuestra vida, sin no dejar un mensaje a la sociedad. Y mi mensaje es que siempre crean en ustedes, confíen en sus sueños y no importa cuántas personas les digan que ustedes no son capaces de lograrlo. Tienen que luchar hasta el cansancio para obtener eso que quieren lograr en la vida. Es muy divertido cuando hay muchas personas apoyándote, cuando ves personas de tu país apoyándote aquí también, aplaudiéndote, gritando Colombia, bueno, y también apoyando a las otras candidatas. Eso te llena de mucha energía positiva para seguir adelante con esto y encontrar un verdadero propósito por el cual levantarte cada mañana y seguir luchando hasta el cansancio por este sueño. Bueno, first of all, congratulations, Miss Chile. 
How does it feel to be here? Well, um, be here feels amazing. It's like it's an an imaginable, an imaginable experience. Sorry, my English. It's an an imaginable experience. It's like I really I don't know if I truly believe if I'm here now or not. It's like yesterday we went to a restaurant with the, with the girls, and I was talking with Colombia and Bolivia, and I was like, we are really here. It, it's something that it's one experience in life. It, it and it's amazing. I'm I'm in, I'm. I'm the happiest person in the world, I think. <laughs> Tell me about your journey in Chile to being Miss Chile and then to coming here. Where did this all begin? Where did pageantry begin? How did you get to be? Well, um, to be here wasn't easy at all. Well, at first, for COVID, uh, well, the pageantry in my country was very hard. Everything was online except the final. Uh, so I didn't meet the girls. To the final, I, I was was weird, was different, and for example, prepare for the pageant was hard because can you imagine runway classes online? It's like, what did you do? It was looking at the screen, and everything was difficult. But but I think that when you are organized, you organize everything. Everything is possible, of course. And well, to be here was a little hard because in my country the borders are closed so we have to to take permissions and things and I don't know I have um, an autoimmune disease which affects my bones so learn how to walk in these high heels can you imagine that was <laughs> was like mom I can't anymore I can do this but now I'm here and to be honest honest uh, really really honest just be here I feel like I win it's it's great how does it feel to be here with all the other Miss Universe, um, you know, winners from all around the world? And, and what's that sense of camaraderie or sisterhood? What's that like to come together? Does it feel good to be here with all of the other girls around the world? Um, yes, of course, because, well, uh, during the pandemic, we, we, are, we are all been talking. And I had a lot of online friends, for example, I don't know, Bolivia, Venezuela. Uh, Italy uh, and a few more girls uh, so and be here and sharing this experience uh, it's, it's amazing it's something that I really can't explain in words uh, all the girls have to do this to, to understand what I'm what I'm uh, telling because um, being here is like something no I, I can explain even in even in Spanish I can't <laughs> Tell me about um, the support that you've had from Chile, from everyone in Chile, and how does that make you feel um, to be here this week? Chile is behind you, you have some supporters here, or is it hard not having as many people here to support you? Do you feel the love of Chile? Well, in my country, uh, they don't know a lot about pageantries, but when I won Miss Universe, the country was like a mess. Every everyone was talking about me and supporting me, and uh, no, it's crazy. Here in Miami, there are a lot of Chilean people supporting me with flags like chi 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 la la la, and in the social media, a lot of people is writing me every day. I have a lot of followers who are supporting me in my pictures, in the Miss Universe pictures. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's great. I have a lot of support. I, I really, I even imagine this kind of support. It's great. It makes you feel good? Amazing. I feel amazing with that, of course. What do you hope to take out of this week for you? You said, you know, it doesn't really matter whether you win or lose, but for you, for your own growth, what do you think you'll take out of this week? Well, at first it was, was very hard for me uh, because... Uh, my disease limit me to do a lot of things and this was a really um, desafio I don't know how to say in English because uh, my bones and my my joints hurts all day I have spots in my skin I have problems in my eyes and it was very hard to understand that I can do everything I want so 
When I won in Chile, it was like, okay, Daniela, you can do everything, no matter if I have a disease or if maybe if I'm smaller than the other contestants. So for me, the most important thing in this uh, pageant is like believe in me and understand that I can really do whatever I want if I want it. How do you think your story is inspiring other young girls who face similar challenges, may have a disease or some other condition that is holding them back? How does your story inspire you? Well, I, I think or I believe that now it's been inspiring a lot of people. I receive a lot of messages every day about that because for example, in my in this disease, this autoimmune disease, there are it's like a a known place. Any anyone knows what happened in ten years or twenty years or five days. So we always feel different like the other people. And being here is like I'm proving you that we are not different like the others. We can do everything we want if we propose to do that. And when I read all the, the messages that I receive every day, it's very emotional because it's like, wow, I really am doing a change in society. And I, when, when, I had di when I was diagnosed, I was very sad and I was like, why this happened to me? I, I didn't understand. But now I can realize that it's because we have to share our things to the world. We have to inspire with our um, situations and being here is the proof that no matter what happens to us, if we have a condition, a disease, or we're different, or we feel different to the others, nothing, it's a problem, we want something. So I'm here for that, to prove to all the people that we can do everything we want, really. How has it been for you here on the ground and, you know, in the day to day? How have you been coping and is it fun? Are you having fun? Here? Yes. Of course that I'm having fun here. Well, our brain tense. I think yesterday I slept like two hours and a half. I have to do my, my hair and my makeup, of course. I have to look good. <laughs> but it's amazing. The, the girls are very funny. Uh, we are here for the same thing. Of course, we are here for win the crown. But it's to live experience too. So, no, I'm so happy. I can, if you want, I can live here. <laughs> no, it's, it's lovely, amazing. I'm very, very happy. Have you made some lasting friendships since being here that you think you will have forever? Well, Bolivia and Italy, I think. I told her, uh, I told them yesterday, that I, of course, that I will go to, to their countries to see them. And I really believe that, that maybe it could be a, a long friendship. Of course. What would you say to all of your supporters at home who are all behind you, you know, willing you on this week? What would you say? To them? Yes. What would you say to Chile? Ah, oh, I would love to say to Chile that I'm so grateful, thankful. I really, I never imagined the support that I really have now. It's like, I really feel like, I don't know, Angelina Jolene Hollywood. It's like, oh my God. Um, please keep supporting me. Um, maybe we have the second crown to my country, so we have to keep supporting and, of course, um, enjoying the experience with me.